Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now in this episode we have a massive, massive couple of games to go into in this one. We have the second leg of the quarter-final in the Champions League against Napoli. We are currently 1-0 up on aggregate. Now we are going to be welcoming them to the Stadium Light in this episode. We're then going to simulate this game against Leicester and then try and get some kind of revenge from the defeat in the last episode in the league against Manchester United and we're going to be taking them on in the semi-final of the FA Cup, which is going to be absolutely massive. And then we're going to end the episode with a simulated game against Huddersfield. Now, of course, if we do recap the last episode, it wasn't fantastic in terms of the league. We'll have a quick revisit of the Premier League because things aren't looking great. They're looking a little bit bleak after that defeat to Manchester United in the last episode. And there it is. There's only six games remaining, but we're also six points behind Manchester United so hopefully they will drop points somewhere and we can continue to win we've only lost five games this season which is very very decent indeed but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to retain the Premier League unless like I say United slip up somewhere big time but anyway the Champions League is the biggest focus at the moment and we are going to head into this game against Napoli and this is the team that we're going to go with we have Cabrera in goal, Riveros, Twanzby, Dominguez and Dumbabu across the back we have Grujic and Kondogbia in the middle with Carrasco on the left, Davies on the right, Mount as the camp and Martinez up top there's a few or a couple of players in there who aren't at full fitness but that's just because of EA in the way that they put the fixtures out this will be our what third game in the space of like a week so all of our players are absolutely exhausted but anyway let's do our best with it let's get into it and here we are guys at the stage of like welcoming Napoli of course we do have the all-important away goal to take on this side we know how good they can be Insigne in there or Bamiang some real pace up top hopefully we can deal with it I mean I'd be happy with a nil-nil draw here come on lads Oh, this is a good chance now. Knock it back for Mounting to strike it, and it's gone just wide of goal. We managed to nick it off them in a pretty dangerous position, and it's Mason Mount who's had an absolutely excellent season. Who nearly puts us in the lead early on. We'll get into him. It is Aubameyang coming forward now. Oh no, get it away, get it away. That shows him Barbu. Well played. Breaking forward now with Arthur. There's a big gap in behind the defence here. Breaking forward. Come on. Get into him, get into him. Don't let him get the shot off. He does, and Bobby blocks it, and again, and it's going to go out for a corner. Bit of pressure here from Napoli, Insigne, being the main man with all the pressure here, and that's a poor cross from him. But we're going to get, or they're going to get another corner. You love these short corners. It's Insigne. Get it away, get it away, get it away. It has been headed away. Oh, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. And God, it's just non stop corners. Short again, Insigne, get it out this time, well played. Well in, find your man, it is Martinez, takes a touch, it's surely ref, he's been absolutely wiped out there, but gives nothing at all. The break in now with Insigne, he's got so much pace. Going down the left, get it away, get it away, please. Get in, oh come on, that's shocking defending all over the place here. Come on. Oh, shit. Here we go. It's a good save. Get it away, Mbarbu. Well in. Go on, get Carrasco in there. It is Carrasco. Surely Carrasco. It's in. It's 1-0. We've broke through for the first time in this game. And we still managed to get ourselves in the lead when Napoli have pretty much battered us from kickoff here. But that's a lovely little piece of football on the counter. Kundog be into Mount, and of course, Mount, who's got so many assists this season, gets into Carrasco, who's been also excellent so far. Gets himself a goal. Get in! Oh, now here is Grujic. On to Kundogbe. Back to Mount. He does strike it, and it's a save by Lopez. And there goes the half time whistle. And we only seem to wake up towards the last sort of five minutes of that first half. Other than that, it was all Napoli, but we do somehow find ourselves in the lead and 2 0 up an aggregate as well. Good stuff now. Give it back to Kondobia. He strikes it and it's straight at Lopez. Good football. Get away, get away, get away, get away. It's Aubameyang and it's headed straight at Cabrera. Nothing has really happened in the second half. Really, we kept all the ball and I've kind of purposely done it really. Just kept decent possession. Kept it away from him. Because just look at the amount of pressure they're putting us under when we do have the ball. 
Get it away, get it away. And they've scored. It's one all. Doesn't mean anything right now. But that is poor, poor defending. Whipped him from the right. Maybe Mbabu should have done a bit better there. And that's two big mistakes Mbabu has made in as many episodes. It's a great little finish. We need to hold on to this now. Come on, get it away, get it away, get it away. It's the last chance of the game. Just get it out. That'll do. Yes. We're going through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. That is absolutely unbelievable. We really had to hold our nerve towards the end after they did get the equaliser. But all in all, I think we probably deserve it. First off, Napoli did dominate. But second off, we did have pretty decent control over the game. I wonder who we're going to get in the semis, guys. We're starting to believe, is it going to be on? Will Sunderland be winning the Champions League? That'd be absolutely mad. So let's have a look and see after the game if we have been drawn. We have been drawn against Chelsea in the semi-final of the Champions League, which is absolutely mad. We've got Chelsea and it's Manchester United and Real Madrid who are in the other semi-final. Wow, this could be interesting. Imagine getting Real Madrid in the final. Well, obviously we have to get past Chelsea first. But all United as well, I suppose. That would be the ultimate revenge, wouldn't it? But first and foremost, let's simulate this game in the league against Leicester. Come on, lads. Give us a win. Give us a win. And we win 1-0. And it's Abraham who gets the only goal of the game. Get in. But now it is the big one. We're going to be taking on Manchester United in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. It looks like we're going to have to possibly cut this episode a little bit shorter than I would have liked. Just because Chelsea are there and obviously they want to play that game. But I don't have enough time to fit three played games into an episode so we'll play this game against United and then in the next episode we'll take on Chelsea in the Champions League now the thing is I don't know what I'm going to do now with the formation and who I'm going to play because of course we only have three fit central defenders and there's only a couple of days in between the um in between the two games so I might have to maybe play three at the back with one centre back and two wing backs Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. I'll have to make an absolute mess of a squad because I need our best squad really to be available for the game against Chelsea. So I'll see what I can do and I'll see you in just a second when I sort out whatever kind of team I can against Manchester United. So this is the team I'm going with against Manchester United and I know it's a massive, massive risk. But like I did say, we only have three available centre-backs and I want both. Um, I want up Meccano and Dominguez to be 100% fit for this next game against Chelsea. So this is what I've had to do. We've got Cabrera in goal. The three at the back consists of Riveros, Twanzaby and Juan Basaka. We have Hendo, McTominay and Gomez in midfield with Brereton on the right, Jones on the left, Abraham and Martinez up top. This could prove to be an absolute mess or we could end up battering them. Let's get into it. And here we are guys at Wembley. It is United, Manchester United against Sunderland, of course. It is Hendo leading us out today. I'm actually quite excited and nervous to use this formation. Hopefully it isn't a big, big mistake, but like I can say, the priority is the Champions League. Can we get ourselves a win here? Come on, lads. Straight away, the bombing forward. We'll get it away. We're giving it away immediately. Come on, it is Lukaku who drags the shot straight at Cabrera. That isn't a great sign. Good chance for them again, and it's a great save for Cabrera to make. Jesus Christ, this is a horrible, horrible start. Martial to take the corner, and it's been cleared away. Now here is Martinez up against Oriadazola. That's it, go on, son. It is Martinez with a great turn of pace. Still Martinez, finishes son, and it's an easy save for De Gea. Oh, probably needed a bit more on that. What a chance. Get over to him, get over to him. Is Martial now, come on. Too easy, get it out, well played. I knew there was going to be a lot of defending in this game. We are going to basically just have to wait for a counter-attack, aren't we? We have plenty of pace going forward. But we just can't keep hold of the ball at the minute. Come on, get it away, get it away, get it away. Get into him, get into him. Don't let him get the shot off and luckily messes that one up. Turn. Go on, Martinez. Just, just hits it. It's in. It's Martinez from the edge of the box. Bends it into that bottom right-hand corner. Get in. It's the makeshift side that have somehow got us in the lead. United have really come forward and had effort after chance after chance after effort. And it's Hendo who gets it into Gomez, into Martinez. One touch and bends it around into the bottom right-hand corner. 
It's another game where we've got ourselves in the lead, probably against the runner play. But I don't give a shit. Get in! Here's Lukaku though now on the right side. Don't dive in. Don't dive in. That shows Cabrera well in. Well in Gomez. Keeping that one in. Help him out. Well played Gomez. That's brilliant son. Here is Hendo now. Hendo with a strike and it's... It's left the stadium. <laughs> get it in. Decent ball towards Breverton. He doesn't get there before. De Gea. Some good football being played. But it's mainly United. And it's us that are constantly on the counter-attack. But we're defending well here. That's great by Angel Gomez. And we get it out well. Hendo now. On to McTominay. Get it out wide. And that's a great ball for Jones. Still Jones getting at them. Jones goes for it himself and it's straight into here. Probably a little bit hopeful that strike there. We do have the corner. Hendo to take it. Whips it in towards. Twanza B still in the box. I think they'll clear this away and it should be half time. It is. What a half that is. Absolutely breathless at the minute because United have had so many decent chances and Cabrera has saved our arses yet again. But it is Martinez who gets us in the lead at half time. That's good stuff there by Abraham, and it is Jones with his pace. Gets it in, it's a very dangerous ball, but it has been hooked away. Oh, it's a good chance now for United. It's a good football being played, he has struck it. Straight at Cabrera, they haven't tested him too much in terms of quality of their efforts. But still, the raining shots down on him in a minute. Now here is Martial, not long left, but he has been causing problems, and that is excellent by Wambasaka. Can we break ourselves now? Make your own Martinez. It is Martinez up against the three. Come on, there is a man in the middle. Gets it towards him as well. And can they get it? Oh, Abraham, no. De Gea spilt the cross and nearly fell back for Abraham, but he managed to eventually gather it. Oh, that would have been perfect. But we still have a very nervy end into this game yet again. With Manchester United starting to put us under a little bit of pressure. They're just keeping the ball around very well at the minute. Man United, they're not doing too much with it. They're biding the patience, biding the time. Just a minute left. They give the ball away now. It is Martinez. Over the top, I see the man. It is Jones. Come get one last attack here. It is Jones coming inside. Help him out. Still Jones. And there goes the full-time whistle. We are through to the FA Cup final. Jesus Christ, what a game that was. So much defending to be done. We've somehow got one over Manchester United. Got a little bit of revenge on them. Even though we've played such a weird lineup that we're really not familiar with in terms of formations. But it's Martinez who gets the goal that puts us to the final. Get in! So guys, this is where we're going to leave the episode. Apologies, it has been cut a little bit short because of... Obviously, the calendar changed you around. But next episode, we're going to go into the first leg of the semi-final of the Champions League. But this is how the Premier League looks as of right now. Manchester United did drop a couple of points as they did draw with West Ham 0-0. So now we are four points behind them with just a few games remaining. So there is a small chance that the treble is on. We are still in it with a chance of, obviously, we're now through to the final of the FA Cup. We could potentially be going through to the final of the Champions League and obviously we're still in contention of the Premier League as well but this is how the league table looks at the end of the episode United top we're second Spurs in third Chelsea in fourth with Liverpool City and Arsenal following them now in the bottom three we do have Bournemouth Leeds and Stoke who find themselves in the relegation spots but that is the end of the episode guys if you have enjoyed please hit the like button for me that would be massively massively appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army but for now, you take care and stay jammy.